Hello and welcome to Dubai's International Convention Centre, where this week we're seeing a real focus on passenger experience with the co-location of the Arabian travel market and the world's largest airport show. Now, airports have often been seen as the bottleneck in a smooth passenger experience. The introduction of the smart kiosks, for example, made a great difference, but you still get the frustration as people drop their passports or they fumble around with their ID cards. But now, Dubai's Amaritech has changed all that with the introduction of this smart corridor. Passengers can just walk through smoothly and unlike traditional smart gates, there's no queuing. You simply walk through, look at the camera while on the move and come out the other end. It's as simple as that. The system is on test at Dubai Airport's Terminal 3. As we suggested last month, economy cabin experience is under scrutiny by the major quality carriers. And at the travel market, Etihad's Group CEO, Tony Douglas, unveiled a retrofit program for its narrowbody fleet, which includes new personalized wireless streaming entertainment to smartphone and tablet devices. The airline's also introducing a new and improved economy dining concept on all its flights as part of a wider program of enhancements to its in-flight catering, as well as adding new seats said to be wider than those on widebody aircraft, with a middle seat the widest of all. The cabins will be rolled out from August this year. Fed up with hours of layovers at hub airports, while well, Slovenian company AirPod will have its smart napping pod in service at a European airport within the next two months. Not soon enough for the 400 million passengers who spend time each year waiting for transit flights. It has a bed and workspace away from the madding crowd. Of course, after that nap, you may feel just a little disoriented and can't find your way to the right gate. Well, UBTech has an answer to that with its robot assistant that can show you where you're going, help you with your inquiries, even dance. Hi, welcome to Dubai Airport. So, Alpha, take me to gate 11. Aircraft also need guidance and technological innovation will aid the continued transformation of the sector. Dubai Air Navigation Services, DANS, signed an MOU with Honeywell to help drive the implementation of cutting-edge technology in aviation through connecting airside and landside data and systems to enhance the air traffic capabilities. The product can be all kind. If you see how DANS is operating today, there will be um, in the future, they have their special vision, there will be like uh, digital tower concepts in their idea. There will be like, how can I elaborate uh, and uh, uh, better their, um, their air, air traffic controller? I think one important thing is our human machine expertise. Airports all over the world are also looking to technology to reduce carbon emissions. ITW GSE is going cleaner and greener with its new battery-driven ground power unit, which is currently on test at Sharjah Airport. The 7400 eGPU reduces CO2 emissions by 90% and NOx emissions by 95% and solving the problem facing airports when peak loads go close to the power grid's maximum capacity. The eGPU can recharge during quiet periods and it reduces noise levels as well as saving on operating costs. This is the model of the new fast baggage car set to maximize operational uptime and improve baggage handler safety. Channeled to reduce baggage drag and move moisture away, the fast cart is lighter so it reduces fuel use and can come in customised colour options with room for advertising space for additional revenues. There's bright ideas all over the show. But none more so than at CU Fosco stand, where the UK company's FLA 10 apron lights were making their first public showing. Just a pair of these twin module lamps can illuminate a whole A380 stand. They save on energy consumption, weigh less than existing models, and do you know, even in the harsh environment of the Middle East, they have a lifespan of 50,000 hours. That's 13 years to you and me. I can tell you, 160,000 lumens is incredibly bright. Now listen, if you want to know more about what's happening around the airport world, go to our website at wearefin.com. But for us here in Dubai, that's time out.